Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be taking a first look at Adobe Firefly Beta. It looks really promising. I think you'll enjoy what's in store for us in the very near future. I'm your host, Dave Kelly. Sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I want to show you Adobe Firefly Beta. Now, it's still in beta. It's not ready for commercial use yet. You can't use it commercially yet, but I want to show you the text to image, text effects, as well as now we can do some recoloring of vectors. I don't do many vectors and things like that, but I'll give you a little demo on everything today. But this is a really exciting new product, and let me know in the comments section what you think. Are you excited about Adobe Firefly? I'd really like to hear your comments. So please comment in the comments section below. Also, if you're enjoying my YouTube channel, please like this video, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. By the way, the way you access Adobe Firefly Beta is you need to go to firefly.adobe.com. And then what you want to do is sign into your Adobe account and click on Request Access. And it took me around approximately three weeks to get invited to the beta. So go ahead and click Request Access. It's going to ask you a few questions, but the sooner you do it, the sooner you'll get in and you'll be able to try this out for yourself. I'll start out by showing you text to image and then we'll move on to text effects and then we'll go over to recolor vectors. So let me go ahead and click right here and that'll take us in and you'll see a bunch of sample images in here and you could click on these prompts and try out these prompts for yourself. And if you hover over here, you can see this prompt says colorful butterfly in the sidewalk of a busy street, lots of legs walking past night macro photography shallow depth of field dslr vivid muted misty misty so you can click on here and try this prompt out for yourself or we can generate our own prompt well let's do that what you have to do is come down to the bottom of the interface describe the image you want to generate english only so i'll type a lion in africa and to generate it you can click the generate button right here and it takes a few seconds here. It's really quick. It's a lot faster than mid journey. So I'll leave this in real time and you can see there it is. Okay. So you'll notice under content type, it is chosen art by default. Now I could choose none. If I click on none, it'll regenerate and we'll see what it does. It'll be more of something more random here. Okay. And this one almost looks slightly photographic. Okay. So there's no content type here. Or let's click on photo and see if I can get a more photographic look. We'll see what we get here. Again, this is in real time. And now you can see here, yeah, these look pretty good. This one still looks a little bit painterly, but these look pretty good. Now, another thing you can do is under aspect ratio, they give you a lot of options here. Right now we're getting a square aspect ratio one by one, but we could do a landscape four by three, a portrait three by four, or a widescreen 16 by nine. So let's try landscape. I'll just click on landscape. It'll regenerate into a four by three landscape aspect ratio. So again, this is in real time here. So that's pretty cool. We got some pretty nice images here. So I like it so far, but let's experiment a little bit. But notice down here where it says a line in Africa, the area where you type in your prompt. Now I can keep adding to this, changing this up, whatever I want. You have photo here. You can click on the X and get rid of that, or you can click clear style. So let me just clear the style here. Now you'll notice we have this area called styles, and this is a drop down. I could close this or open it up. Then we have color and tone, lighting, composition. This is one of the things I really like about Adobe Firefly. They have these different presets we can use, which really sets them apart from the other AI generators out there right now. Under styles, if I click on all, you'll see all of the styles in here and the themes and so on and so forth. Or you could choose popular and here's the popular presets or different movements, for instance, cyberpunk, minimalism. And of course you have themes, you have techniques. One of my favorites here is watercolor. And then you have different effects that you can do, different materials you can work with as well as different concepts. So it's really cool. Let's start out with popular. And 
Okay, so I have a 4 by 3 and now we have this photographic look, which looks very nice. It looks like a photograph, actually. Let's start out with digital art. So I'll click on digital art and notice down here it says digital art. Now I can also add neon along with that if I wanted to, but let's click generate. It'll generate this these four images again in a digital art format. So let's see what kind of result we get there. Again, I'm still in real time here. See now they have that more digital artifact and I really like this one down here. By the way, if you get one you like, just click this icon and it will show similar images. So it'll generate three more that look kind of similar to that image that you liked. Now you'll notice it kept this image and it generated three more. Now you can also rate these images. You can give them a thumbs up or a thumb down. So for instance, I may say, you know, I don't like this because this tree does not real look realistic. The trunk doesn't come the whole way down through here. So I could give this a thumbs down. And it's good to let Adobe know how this is working. Because remember, it's in beta and they're going to improve this. This one's kind of nice, but I still like this one. This one's not bad either. However, when we look closely, we can see a second tail coming out of here. So that's not cool. And I have this black area here. These are things I could fix in Photoshop. And like all AI software out there, it's not 100% perfect. So sometimes you do have to do some work in Photoshop. But if you wanted to download this image, you would click this button right here. And you're going to get this message comes up, promoting transparency in AI. Adobe is committed to promoting transparency around content generated with AI tools like Adobe Firefly. So now, if I click on continue here, you'll notice it's applying content credentials and it downloads the image. Here's the image download. I'm using preview on my Mac computer, but you'll notice down here, here's the watermark. Adobe Firefly Beta, image not for commercial use, so you cannot use these for commercial use. I don't know when that'll change, but remember, we are in beta. I'm going to go ahead and clear the style, and let's put in a new prompt. How about a cute kitty in a field of flowers, and I'll click on Generate and see what we get. And these look really nice. Now, you'll notice under Content Type, I have None. It's using the four by three, or I could change this to say, how about a portrait three by four? It'll regenerate again, four new images with no content type, and we'll see what we get. And these look good. This one looks more photographic. These are more artistic. This one has a weird eye. Let's say we like this one. Let's generate three more just like it. So I'm gonna click right here. And I like all of these, and I think I especially like this one right here. Let's regenerate these four images in a different type. So let me go under movements and change this to cyberpunk. All right. And now let me click on art and it's going to regenerate those. As soon as I click on art, you notice it started to regenerate. And now here are the cyberpunk results. So looking pretty cool, but let's go ahead and try something else. To remove Cyberpunk, I can uncheck it here or click the X here, or I could clear the styles, but let's just uncheck it here. And now let's go into techniques and try one of my favorites, and that is watercolor. So let me click on watercolor and click generate and see what we get. And now we have some beautiful watercolor images of a cute kitty in a field of flowers. I like them all. Now we could go into say like color and tone, and let's open this up. And let's say we want to have some warm tone. So let me click on warm tone. And you notice it adds warm tone down here. And now I'll click generate and see what we get here. And now you notice how it warmed them up. Now let's play even further. Let's go to lighting and let's choose, let's choose low lighting and see what kind of effect we get. And now you notice it says low lighting here. Let's click generate. I don't know what it'll do here. The light has definitely changed. Let's try a different one. Just to see what we get. Let's try studio lighting and click generate. And I do like that. I think the studio lighting looks good. Let's try one more text to image and then we'll move on into the text. I have a cool cat in a trench coat in a dystopian town with buildings in the background. Let's try this as steampunk. So let me click on steampunk and let's click generate. And now here's our cool steampunk cat in a trench coat. Pretty cool. Before I move on, let me change the color and tone. Let's uh, go to like a muted color. And let's go for lighting. Let's go for dramatic lighting. And let's look at composition. Let's go for a blurry background. And let's change the aspect ratio to 
widescreen and see what we get. Okay, I do like these, but let's go ahead and put in, how about standing on a cobblestone street, and let's click on generate. These all look pretty good, but I wish I saw the feet. I could probably put in a full length cat shot, but let's go ahead and change the aspect ratio back to portrait and see what we get. Now, that's more like it. These cats have attitude, and I love their trench coats. I actually like all of these. I think they're pretty cool. Now, let's move on. I'm going to click on Adobe Firefly Beta. That'll bring us back to the main screen, and let's try text effects. So, I'm going to click on this, and now we can enter a text. So, let me enter in how about the joy of editing, and to save time, I also typed in the text prompt, which is oil painting multicolored. And now let me click on generate to generate this out. And it takes a little bit of time. And I think that looks really good. Now you'll notice the checkerboard pattern here. That means I do not have a background color. By the way, you have these different background colors that you can use. For instance, I could put this on a black background or a gray background or no background whatsoever. And if you save this by clicking right here, it'll save this as a PNG that you could use like in a Photoshop document which is really nice. Or you could add a color background to it. You can also change the effect here. Right now it's on medium. If I click on loose, you can see these results. Now let's put that on a black background. So isn't that cool? You see the different paint splashing out from these letterings. And then you have loose, medium, or tight. Tight, it will just stay tight to the letters. If you save this out with a background color, it will save it as a JPEG. If you save it out with no background, it will be a PNG file. They also have sample effects you can try. If I click on view all, you can see all the different sample effects you could try. And then to go back, you can click right here. And of course you have different fonts. They Right now they have six different fonts. Let's see if there's more. Let's click view all. Okay, there's six more for a total of 12, but I can almost bet they'll be adding a whole lot more. And then finally, let me click on Adobe Firefly Beta again, and let's check out the recolor vector. So let's click on this. Now, I don't have any vectors to upload here, but you can upload a vector of your own right here, or it says you could drag a vector into this area here, or we could try out these vectors that they have for us to sample. So let's click on this vector here and we'll try it out so right now we can see the vectors now right now this says sakura in the snow so let's type something else in here let's type blue red and orange and then i will click on generate and now we can see our vectors here which are using blue red and orange and you'll notice up here this is the prominent colors you can hover over each one of these for each one of these vectors and then you could click this shuffle here and it'll shuffle those colors around each time you click on here. So I can see where this will be very effective. Let me go ahead and delete this text. And now we have some sample prompts here, like salmon, sushi, sandstone. So you can just click on these and it'll resample to these different color schemes here. Or we also have, see where it says harmony? We can click on harmony. And we have different settings here. Default, which is what we're on now. Complementary, analogous, triad, split complementary, and square. So let's try split complementary. And we can see what we're getting here. And remember, you can always come here and shuffle these around, which is really nice. And you can see the, um, the prominent colors in each one of these different images. I went ahead and reset everything and chose a different vector because the last thing I want to show you is color. You could come here and pick the color themes that you want by choosing colors that you want. Like I may want this like light green color to be one of the colors and maybe a red and maybe like a pink. So these are the colors I can choose and maybe like a very light blue. And of course, again, you can reshuffle these things around. But that is recoloring vectors. And if you're into vectors, I think you'll enjoy this recoloring vectors. And then you have this switch here to preserve black and white. You can toggle that off or on. Well, there you go. That was a first look at Adobe Firefly. These are some of the images that I've generated using Adobe Firefly. And don't forget to sign up for the beta. It might take two or three weeks for you to get on, but Get on that as soon as you can so you could try this out for yourself. Hey, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, 
please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. If you'd like to see more Adobe Firefly type video tutorials, let me know in the comments section below. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!